What we're going to do today, I'll talk a little bit about how benchmarking works and how that relates to problem set three, and then we'll talk about networks. I want to give you a overview of the plan for the rest of the course today. You do have spring break next week. You deserve a real break, so you don't have any work that you're expected to do for this class over spring break unless you're behind and then it's a good chance to catch up. What we're going to do after spring break is we're starting to get into ring zero. The problem set that you're going to do after spring break is actually hacking on a kernel. You're going to be running code that runs with supervisor privileges. You'll be running it in an emulator, but it could be running there on the hardware as well. After that, you will have a final project which is very open-ended. I want to start you thinking about that if you do have time to think about things over spring break. If you come up with a really good idea for something you want to do for the project, and it's something that is worth spending more than the three or so, uh, three or four weeks that you'll have for it after problem set four, you can make a case for substituting for problem set four. And instead of doing problem set four, doing a longer project. What the project is is very open-ended. You can do anything that you want as long as it satisfies at least some of these goals. If you can satisfy all four, that's great. It's much better to satisfy at least two of them really well than to satisfy all of them in a mediocre way. So hopefully you can think of something that's definitely going to be fun for you. It should be fun for others as well. It helps if it's relevant to the class. If you think of something really fun and useful, and it's strong enough on those other two, but is not necessarily that relevant to the class. Almost anything in computing is sort of relevant to the class, so it's not too hard to convince me it's relevant, but to be more directly relevant to what we do in this class. It should be something that's technically interesting. That doesn't mean that you have to be creating a program necessarily, but there should be some interesting technical aspect. If you have ideas for projects and you want to have more time for the project, it's definitely good to start thinking about that now and you can make a case for it substituting for problem set four. I do think problem set four is going to be really cool. We didn't do anything like this last year, so that's something I'm not encouraging you not to do problem set four, but if you have a really compelling, exciting idea for something you want to do for a project instead, then you can get more time for it by using that to substitute for problem set four. The team size for a project can be anywhere up to the entire class. Actually, it can be bigger than that because you can have people outside the class on your team. They're not getting a grade. So there's actually no maximum size to your team. It's only people, so I guess about 300. Actually, they don't have to be Americans, so it's about 7 billion. So if you can get 7 billion people on your team, that is cool. The impressiveness of your project should scale with the number of people in the class on your team. So if you get people not in the class to contribute to your project, that's a pure bonus. The people in your class, because of all the difficulty of coordination, it doesn't have to scale linearly with the size of your team, but should at least scale as a square root of the size of your team. You should choose your teammates carefully and manage your team well. You don't need to finalize your idea for your project until April and the exact date will uh, be announced at some point. But if you do have an idea what you want to do, you can finalize it earlier and make a case for substituting what you do for the project for problem set four. I would encourage you to look at the page from last year to get a sense of things people have done. Don't limit yourself to that. There, there are definitely some really great projects that students did last year, one of which is the iron kernel that you're going to be using for problem set four. So that, I think, hit on all the requirements of being fun, interesting, relevant, and technically challenging. But you don't necessarily have to do a program. You can do something else. There are lots of possible ideas. And the ones from last semester will give you some ideas, but don't limit yourself to the kinds of things that students did last year. 